It's time for every plays multiplayer save six. Just gonna jump right in. There is uh, Dan. And I walked into a whole bunch of bad guys. Don't think I'm gonna live long. All right. Oh crap! I should have promoted him first. And we met France for the first time. Excellent. Save that game. Let's get the next game going. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his... I just wanted to get my extra life script running, just in case someone randomly happened to um, donate while I was playing. I want to make sure they get recognized. It's probably very unlikely to happen. I haven't sent out any emails yet to potential donors. But we just finished the last, um, you know... The last year, so let's give people a little break, you know? Everyone's just been asking for money now because of the end of the year. Dave, coming to settle near me again. The bastard. We're friends. Doesn't mean he should be for settling me. Alright. Go on alert, or just wait. All right, we'll save that game. All right, next game coming up. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Queen Sandu, the stars reveal you lead Korea to greatness. Build. Korea seems like a great science That's victory. The positive aspect of trade. Hooray, foreign trade. let craftsmanship as I chose before in the other game. Let's go this way. Let's see, let's follow the coast, basically. These are fast, uh, fast games today. Uh, fast turns, I guess I should say. Alright, just three more games to go. I guess that's what happens when you're between producing new units and new cities. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age. So I learned uh, Python a long time ago. Gosh, nearly a decade ago. Because uh, I wanted to um, help with the genealogy program Gramps, and they were programmed in Python. Never did end up helping out, but it, it did become my programming language of choice. Although, you know, later I did also. Experiment with Perl and C Sharp and others. All right. You know what? I think this guy's doing well enough to protect you on your way over rather than lose time let's see where you headed to now let's go here instead all right let's go this way and walk into another lion's den man i'm just awesome at doing that
So interestingly enough, my first um, Python um, programming book was called Dive Into Python. And it was a really interesting book because rather than going you through the built basics of how citizen. languages work, which I already knew because I'd been programming in basic and JavaScript and other, I mean, Java and other languages since I was um, a kid. Uh, this one just says, hey, here's a bunch of problems you might want to solve. Some silly, some, actually, I think there's a, um, this one was, um, gosh, who's the one that has the uh, yellow, black and yellow covers? I forget. But there's another one by Starch Press now called like Ridiculous Programs with Python or something like that. That's like supposed to um, help stimulate your creativity by just having these ridiculous um, programming tasks that you would never actually want to do. Uh, all right, let's see here. Let's go. Uh, let's go over here. Um, and so, like, yeah, some of the more practical, like, it was, um, let's say you have your entire MP3 collection and you want to read through the metadata and, like, create a list of all the different artists you have and stuff like that. And then it had silly ones, like, create an Elmer Fudd program that would take any text you give it and um, turn it into Elmer Fudd speech, which is pretty funny. And so a long time, for a long time, that book was like the basis of everything I did in Python. Um, but that was a long time ago and it was in Python too. So um, recently I did um, get the Humble Bundle Pact, P-A-K-T is the publisher, um, Python bundle. I'm really excited about kind of getting in depth into um, Python 3 and its paradigms. So right now uh, to help with the Extra Life program that I work on. I'm um, going to be reading their book on um, object-oriented programming and uh, um, and uh, GUI programming. The object-oriented one is interesting because Python lends itself to um, procedural programming so well. Uh, what just happened here? Where did David go? Tell me I got his guy. Oh, lucky bastard. Son of a... Mm. Mm, wonder if he's moved far enough to start a city. Um, since it lends itself to procedural programming so well, I never got that good at... Um, Python object-oriented programming and um, you know I had learned uh, Java as object object-oriented programming but other than that I haven't really you know basic wasn't object-oriented at least the version I learned um, C can be C sharp is because it's kind of Java-ish I think it's like Microsoft's answer to Java but those are just little tutorial things really so it'll be interesting to see how that goes Anyway, this has been Eric playing Civ 6 Multiplayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.